Okay, here we are. We're going to fly the drone over Bullard Creek. This is the second day that Lake Bodark has been open. So we're starting here, going out towards the main lake. There's the boat ramp off of 897. There's the bridge. And uh, we're just gonna go down to this main lake point. And we, obviously we got a lot of flood in and uh, there's a little mud coming out of this creek. There's the main lake. <clears throat> And here is the South Point. It's a pretty big lake. It's kind of been foggy today. Partly, it's partly cloudy now, more hazy. But you can see the mud, how it's come in. And this last big rain is what's pushed it up high enough that the water's up onto the ramp so you can um, fish here now. And I had a guide trip today. We probably caught 30 or so fish. Biggest ones were five pounds. Um, and it's now four o'clock. So I've got a little time. We're going to fly the drone over Bullard Creek on Lake Bodark. Second day after it's been open. So here you can see the mud line, and we're coming up to the uh, southern point. There is looking back towards the dam. This is probably going to be a pretty good long video. It looks like this is a big creek. Uh, I'm flying at 358 foot. There's some big power lines here. They're pretty high up. So I'm going to stay up here for a minute. We can zoom in here. There's a boat fishing. There's a lot of flooded brush and flooded grasses. A lot of cedar trees, a lot of big oaks, and pecan trees. It's really cool, man. It's so exciting to be on a new lake. Um, now this pond right here, I think there's still about two foot to go. So there will be a pond dam on that pond. I think the lake can come up another two foot. So here we're scanning the bank. We're gonna about to be heading back into Bullard Creek. I'll give you a little perspective here. There's another boat. I'm not gonna fly down close to all these boats. Um, you know, it's opening day or second opening day. Give everybody their space, but I'm up high enough. They won't, um, probably won't hear and I won't linger. But uh, the, the flooded grass was shallow today. The water temp was a little under 70. Here's a good looking little, another pond dam, little cut right here. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. So you put a couple of foot on that, there'll be some little hump, and little corner there, be a good spot. This is kind of a southwest wind, so wind's not too bad. This was looking back into the creek, and I'm pretty sure that's a pond dam or a road right there. couple of boats on it bushes all the way out on it that's like it's gonna be a good spot for a long time there's another pond I'm gonna go around these guys so I don't interfere with them looks like a pretty good spot Here's the flooded brush going back in. Gosh, it's so exciting to be on a lake that's fresh, new. 
I didn't get to open Lake Fork Creek. I, I didn't move to Lake Fork till 1991, so I didn't get to see the early days. I did go up and fish Cooper back when it opened. Um, but I'm excited to see the maturity of this lake. And now I'm doing uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to share this journey throughout the journey of Bodark Lake through my YouTube video. There's some trees there. I don't know that that pond right there is going to get inundated by the lake. It doesn't look like it. it's pretty high up there. And here's the power lines we're talking about. Man, they started stocking this lake um, in 2019 with Cheryl Lunker Fry. And they've continued with Cheryl Lunker Fry, Cheryl Lunker Fry. And then um, the Lone Star Lunker Genetics. Now here's looking back into Bullard Creek right here. They go set of power lines. Gosh, there's so much stuff to fish. So fun. All right, let's keep going. We're just going to kind of get over these power lines safely. Standing timber. Looks like a little flat come out there. There's bushes. There's so much cover in the water. It's going to be good for years to come. You know, that's what spurs big fish and... Um, Trophy bass is a lot of cover. It's like ivy. It was down for a long time and all the cover grew up. And salt cedars kind of look a lot like this. They're really thick. They're actually thicker than this, but this is going to have a lot of cover for fish to grow up in for a long time. Got a little bit more green water here. There's a row of cedar trees. See these pastures were inundated by the lake. A lot of cedar trees in this area. Well, we had to push through some tree lines to get back to the shorelines. Um, here you can see the mud line a little bit with the wind. A little bit clear water up towards the bank here. I'm going to do this series. It's going to be long form content because it takes a while to fly these creeks and kind of really get a good look at it since it's fresh. I mean, there might not be videos like this. Um, there will be a good historic record of the trees that are standing. I remember back in the day uh, when I started fishing like Fort Mark Martin's, um, maps they had a a photograph a guy went in the airplane and photographed the lake and 
put it in a like a binder. I still have it. All the old trees and stuff. I looked at every picture for all the time. I still kind of get a kick out of looking at that. But uh, now, since we've got drones and video, we can um, upload this and I can share it with everyone. This will be a historical record of what Bodark looked like when it opened. I did these, what I called flyovers, back a while um, on Lake Fork when it was low. And um, then I had a different drone. It was the Air 2S. And the battery life was maybe 20 minutes. But uh, the new, this is the new Air 3. It's got a little better zoom. And it's got a better battery life so I can fly and do a little more thorough videoing see this is kind of getting muddy back in here I have good flat there let's get out for perspective where we're at in the creek looks like anywhere there's green trees like that that's where the trees are still living um, the water is now into that. So the dead trees signify kind of where the water line is or was. So these new, the green trees here, they will, the ones that are flooded will die. So when we're watching this video, the dead trees are the shoreline or where the water line is. And the live trees are generally outlining where the new shoreline will be. So we're kind of looking back out towards the main lake now. There's a boat coming in. I'm over there. I don't know if you can see that home point thing, but I'm 4,000 foot from the boat where I launched now. And um, there's the back of the creek. And again, this is Bullard Creek. So I'm going to look up back here. There's a point and it looks like a roadbed coming across where that boat's just shutting down. That's pretty cool. Here's the creek coming out of the woods right there. You can see where the creek winds into the woods. So you could get a boat into that. Because the creek channel is going to be deep, deeper. You can see it winding up into there. Okay. And now let's go. Uh, There's where the creek comes out. So we've got a shallow flat. Now we're still heading to the back of the creek. Big shallow flat back here. That's nice. Man, I know mm, Texas Parks and Wildlife or any of the governing agencies don't like hydrilla because they specify it as a invasive species. Honestly, hydrilla could be the best thing that happens to a lake. Um, you know, Cooper, Lake Cooper, when it opened, it took off really good. It was so cool. You'd go catch a lot of fish and there were some big ones. Um, but it got muddy. I haven't been up there in years, but look at this shallow flat back here. That's going to have water on it. All those bushes back here. Eventually, you'll be able to get back there and there will be water on that when it floods. So there's a ton of cover back there. That's super cool. Yeah, I'm panning back out now and uh, looking to the back corner. It's a field. Now, man, I, I love big flat areas where I can really fish. Big flat areas hold a lot of fish. Um, now that's kind of muddy, so it probably wouldn't be the best, but if that was clear, it was more towards spawn time. We're getting towards the end of spawn in this uh, video here. So, um, now we're looking back out towards the main lake coming down the bank. 
back towards where I'm sitting. Go down a little bit. Go down, look at this flat. Oh, there was a bunch of something right there. Probably garfish. Let's see what it is. Or ducks. Bunch of ducks. Well, we're sitting here about 15 minutes into this flyover Bullard Creek on Lake Bodark. The second day it's been open. Uh, if you're still with me now, you love bass fishing. I love bass fishing. And I really like to fly the drone and check out spots. Um, and now with YouTube, it's a good way to share. Here we go. Coming back. There's a boat crossing there into that flat. Coming back down, looks like would be the West Bank. Yeah, if you've watched this far along, I appreciate it. If you get a chance, you haven't subscribed to the channel. That's the name of the YouTube games. Get some subscribers. Um, I'm an old dude. I'm an old guy. I've been guiding for 29 years. Lake Fork. I've got it on Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn, um, all the East Texas lakes, Gilmer, Welsh, Monticello, Lake of the Pines, Lake Fork, obviously. And um, looks like I'm going to be a guide until I can't do it anymore. And I'm looking forward to this. is This was my first guide trip on Bodark Lake. It was the second day. And, you know, I posted this on social media. And there's quite a few comments on how can you guide and you've never been on the lake. Well, I do want to answer that. And since I'm flying around, we're checking out Bullard Creek on Bodark Lake. Yeah, I've been guiding for 29 years. And somebody says, well, you don't know the lake. You know, how can you be a guide on it? Well, man, I have the most efficient Skeeter bass fishing boat that has the electronics. I can find fish. Um, we literally opened this lake today and we caught it estimated 30 or 40 fish with a couple of five pounders is big ones um man I, i've had i have a clientele if we can go to a lake and open it up man we're on it um i've never been a fad lake chaser and I, and now this time i'm going in full bore i'm going to open this one there's probably the next lake that opens ralph hall it's right up this way I'm I'm getting older. I'm 55 years old. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and document this on my YouTube channel and um, share it as I go. I didn't get to open up Lake Fork like this. They've stocked this lake and made it to where it can be a trophy bass fishery. Um, so there's going to be some big ones. I'd sure like to get some, but the, the exciting part is, is fishing a lake that just hasn't been overfished so hard. Lake Fork gets so much media and big tournaments come. And I mean, it, those fish literally get fished a lot. So um, it's going to be fun finding groups of large groups of fish. You know, of course, we always want to catch a big one, but. Man, a lot of my clients, hey, we just want to catch fish and relax, have a good day, have a chance at a big one. Um, and just enjoy fishing, man. Getting a frog bite, getting a topwater spook bite, or dragging a, you know, a big worm in the tops of trees. You know, it's getting bit, man. It, we don't have to catch a big one. Um, of course, we're always is we're bass fishing. We love to catch big fish, but catching fish makes a guide's life a lot 
funner when people can catch fish. You know, I like to catch them all day. So uh, this new lake is going to give me the opportunity to share fish really being caught all day and uh, really looking forward to it. We're going into the summer, so um, kind of miss the spring. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of shallow fish because it's a new lake and it's all flooded. But um, there's a lot of offshore structure on this lake. and Nobody's fished it. So uh, I'm going to get to do that this year. Here's another big shallow flat. Zoom in and see if we can. Water's pretty clear. Well, we're about 21 minutes into looking at Bullard Creek on Boat Arc. And I think I'm gonna bring this ship in. I'm gonna try to do a little fishing this afternoon. kind of a line there a little drop off there's a little mud back here i'm gonna probably go back out a little more main lake just because i like fishing clearer water these cedar trees are going to be in the water forever the cedar cedar trees grow up here a lot see the big furry ones right there. Those are cedar trees. They're going to have those last so long in the water. They'll be there 30 years from now. The oaks will break apart, fall apart. They'll be good stumps for about 30 years. You know, Lake Fort, they're all, they're all underneath the water level, right where the water level meets the uh, tree and the wind and oxygen waves that usually just saws them off. But here I am in the boat, spot locked in the old skier. And uh, I'm gonna bring this ship in. Thanks, man, if you stuck through this video, 22 minutes, I appreciate it. There's the main lake. There's the power lines. And there's looking back into Bullard Creek. Man, thanks for joining me on this video, and we will see you next time. Adios, amigos.